What's up YouTube? It's Elijah Wan Dream and we're back again with another NBA 2K24 new gen center build video. And in today's video, we are going to be making a 7'2 inside out demon. Now this build is kind of like the glitchy glass cleaner. It's almost a revised version of the glitchy glass cleaner. And again, this version does not have any close shot. And 2K Labs actually just put out some tests on close shot. And with yellow contests, whether you have a 25 or I think it's a 95 close shot rating, there's only like a 3% difference. So you don't don't really need the close shot but especially if you have the 92 standing dunk to get that gold fast twitch and again they did do some tests on fast twitch for open layups there really isn't any difference from bronze to hall of fame so the ratings are kind of weird but this way we are going to get the most out of this build and we can spread our attributes elsewhere i really enjoyed this build the speed definitely is one of the biggest factors you can definitely notice it especially if you're up against some six foot eight and six foot nines there have been a few of them that have done really well against this build that is kind of a bad matchup. If you can get a six foot eight or a six foot nine with high strength, good enough interior defense, good vertical, and good physicals, it can be a problem for this build. I have ran into a few issues with it, honestly. But let's get into this build. Enough of me talking about it. We'll explain everything as we go through this build. But of course, it is seven foot two. You want to go to 221 pounds. The reason I did this, I wanted to get that ED driving layup for Hall of Fame Pro Touch. Like I've been talking about, once you hit starter three, you can get that Demantis Sabonis layup package. And there's this really OP floater animation and get hall of fame pro touch and of course float game to go with an 80 driving layup at seven foot two it's going to be extremely op and again without having a close shot i wanted to get hall of fame pro touch still so it does help you with your standing layups driving layups whatever it might be your wingspan of course you want to max that out the most most wingspan that you can get on a center absolutely helps it's the intangibles it's going to help you get more rebounds more blocks everything like that we can click continue so like i said we only have a 60 close shot we had to go up to a 60 to match that 80 driving layup or 82 driving dunk I can't exactly remember but we do get gold fast twitch but we get that through our standing dunk rating of 92 we still get silver feelers finisher and at seven foot two you can still finish some really nasty layups and like i said hall of fame pro touch that was one of the things that i really wanted to get that's why i went to an 80 driving layup and we also get bronze whistle and bronze spot finder which comes extremely handy whether it's cutting to the rack cutting to the three-point line whatever it might be and our driving layup is an 80 like i was talking about and i wanted to get that 80 rating for that hall of fame pro touch but we do get silver fearless finisher gold aerial wizard silver slithery silver bunny hall of fame pro touch gold two-step bronze whistle gold float game like i was talking about with that demanda sabonis layup package that is going to be extremely op so gold float game hall of fame pro touch and 80 driving layup and if you're in takeover with a 90 driving layup your green window is going to be massive on those op floaters and of course scooper i hardly ever use this badge i really should try to incorporate it into my game more especially with an eight foot wingspan it'll be really hard for the opponents to block it especially once you get that gold scooper all of in pro touch to go with it you can get some really nasty layups and last but not least gold spin cycle an 82 driving dunk you can actually go up to an 83 that is the max but it does not unlock you anything so i went to an 82 that does get you i can't think it's like julius randall dunk package i can't exactly remember it is but there is a dunk package that unlocks at 82 and again some repeat badges aerial wizard silver slithery bunny we do get bronze posterizer gold precision dunker but we get that really through our standing dunk gold two-step bronze whistle and gold spin cycle of course 92 standing dunk that does get us the gold fast twitch gold rise up gold aerial wizard and gold precision dunker so again like i said 2k labs did do some tests for open layups whether it's bronze fast twitch or hall of fame fast twitch it doesn't make any difference but with like contact dunks and contact layups i think it still does make a little bit of a difference there but again we'll have without having that 60 close shot just make sure you're open you pump fake but try to utilize the dunk meter as much as you can and if you have your gold floor setters absolutely put them on the fast twitch rise up and precision dunker that way you can be the most efficient contact dunker or standing dunker that you can no post control but we do get hall of fame post playmaker because we do get that 90 plus pass accuracy and an 88 offensive rebound i don't do a ton of drop steps or post spins so i don't really like to put post control on many of my builds the only thing that post control is really nice for in my mind is the post fade phenom and hook specialist but again if you have a high enough mid-range rating i don't even think that's really necessary like i can still hit my post phase post hop shots everything like that even without post fade phenom or anything like that so i don't really think it's a necessity to have post control but i know some people really like post control so again you can tweak this build best around with it if you want post control you can absolutely put it on if you want of course we had to max out our mid-range so we can get the best releases possible so we can get silver catch and shoot bronze dead eye bronze blinder silver green machine silver guard up silver open looks bronze whistle gold comeback kit, silver media magician and once again bronze spot finder so enough shooting badges there to make you successful you can spot up out the corner bang those threes no problem you can still cook up 
up in the post like I said with your post hop shots post fades whatever it might be and of course a 73 three ball you absolutely can hit with once you start getting your silver catch and shoots try to activate that clay more and preferably you want to be shooting out of the corner with a tall build like this the corner three ball is the most efficient three-point shot in basketball it is actually closer to the net than anywhere else around the three-point line so it makes sense you want to take the most high efficient shots that you can and you will see your percentages rise as well too if you keep taking good open shots and bronze blinders seven foot two that can be really op silver green machine guard up again at seven two that can be really op and whistle comeback kid and bronze spot finder and we were actually able to get a 75 free throw on this build we had extra points that we didn't really need to spread elsewhere or didn't make a difference to spread elsewhere so we actually increased this up to a 75 so if you get fouled you can knock those down no problem and i went up to a 92 pass accuracy you could probably drop this to an 86 i think all you really need is an 86 you can still throw those full court outlet passes nice crisp and cleanly but all honestly that hall of fame break starter is definitely noticeable from a gold break starter after using some 86 pass accuracy builds really nice just a little bit faster a little bit crisper and cleaner passes and they don't fumble it as much and they can go right into an animation where they want to dunk or anything like that but with this build i kind of tried to optimize everything so i dropped my close shot you only really need a 92 pass accuracy or for centers everybody says you need a 92 pass accuracy so i kind of tried to make everything a little bit more optimal but still we get gold dimer gold needle threader hall of fame post playmaker gold relay passer hall of fame special delivery and gold touch passer and once again try and activate that hall of fame special delivery badge as much as you can don't try and force it but if it's there for the flashy pass and you get the assist off of it then you're going to get your two-way boost if you're in the elite affiliation on the defensive end so that way you can keep up with some six foot eight six foot nines if they're really fast and trying to blow by you or you're just going to get a better block rating whatever it might be we maxed out our ball handle and speed with ball but we actually had to max out the ball handle to go with that 92 pass accuracy it would have been really cool to get big driver on this but unfortunately we were not able to do that we can't get that 55 ball handle with a max wingspan and i like to max out the speed with ball as well too if you get that mama mentality you can get plus 10 to this or the juice perk it's more than plus 10 still not exactly sure what it is but again being able to move the ball at seven foot two is extremely nice and you can cook up a little bit get to the rack a little bit easier with the ball whatever it might be and it went up to an 82 interior defense a lot of people say you only need like a 74 and everything but i wanted to get more interior defense because i only have a 72 strength on this build so i had to make up for it somewhere else we do get gold anchor and i wanted that post lockdown badge for sure and the gold workhorse badge so again like i said i kind of tried to optimize everything with this build so i probably could have dropped this down to a 74 interior defense but again maybe i would have increased like my vertical otherwise or maybe i would have put more defensive rebound on it sometimes that 85 defensive rebound rating can get frustrating <laughs> when the other opponent has a high offensive rebound and you can't seem to get any rebounds on the defensive end it does get a little bit frustrating but still the 82 interior defense especially in mamba mentality or you activate your defensive takeover 92 interior defense and you're going to get a 99 block in takeover as well too can really disrupt some shots the interior defense seems to be a little bit different now for some reason i'm not disrupting as many shots as it seems it's like if it's not a block it's pretty much going to go in maybe that's just on dunks or like these six foot eights and six foot nines that i've been playing against they're like dunking through my body kind of like it's it's like i'm not even there it's really weird but i don't know that's maybe was just a few couple bad games or something but i don't know it seems like something is a little bit different but again could be wrong could just be a couple bad games or something like that but still if somebody does try and take up some absolute garbage on you and you're playing hands up defense they will miss but it just seems i don't know something seems to be tweaks but i could be just be tripping 65 premier defense i wanted to max that out so we, again if you go up against some six foot eight six foot nines and like i've said i've added a couple that have gave me some problems with this build i they've been able to blow by me get dunks and they're even rebounding well with me as two i've been really considering making like a six foot eight a six foot nine to try it out for myself as well too i can't even lie i love tall centers don't get me wrong you guys know that but again i like to try a little bit of everything so i might end up making a six foot eight or a six foot nine the really nice thing about this build so without having that close shot and of course a 92 pass accuracy you probably could have went to a 96 but this way we can get a ton of defensive stats we can actually get that 60 steal to go with an eight foot wingspan get that bronze interceptor so if somebody throws some lazy passes down into the paint you can tap square get an easy steal it's really nice to have i can't lie but again a lot of the other builds don't have steal and you can still absolutely make it work and you still can get steals it's just your frequency of tapping x and actually getting the steals a lot higher and i went with a 92 block again i only have a 72 strength so i wanted to get that gold 
anchor and an 82 interior defense so I can make up for that. Now, what you really only need is a 77 block, but again, I had a ton of extra points that I could have spread, so I was like, I might as well go with a 92 block on this build. Seven foot two, eight foot wingspan, and the rest of these defensive stats, it's going to be an absolute menace. And of course, you activate that defensive takeover or you get an Amama mentality, you will get a 99 block rating, and you're gonna get that gold anchor, silver chase down artist, and gold pogo stick. And once again, the way everything worked out, I was actually able to go with a 92 offensive rebounds with silver box out beast, gold rebound chaser, gold pogo stick, and we do get Hall of Fame post playmaker. Now with this build, I do tend to play on the perimeter a lot more, so I actually don't get a ton of offensive rebounds. So for my play style, I almost do wish I kind of would have went with the 92 defensive rebound, just to make sure I could really secure those rebounds. And then maybe went with like a 68 or a 69 offensive rebound or a high 70s offensive rebound, something like that. I think what it really is, is because of the speed. So when I'm on the perimeter and I only have a 60 speed, I can't get to the rack quick enough and there's already defenders down there. So I can't jump and snatch a rebound because I can't get there quick enough. Whereas if like on the seven footer with the 66 speed and stuff like that, you can crash a lot faster and you have more chances to grab those offensive rebounds. But that's just my play style because I like to spread the floor space the floor and shoot threes and just open everything up for everybody else but still if a last second shot clock you know the situation you can dive down box out get position you're going to get those offensive rebounds you can kick it back out hall of fame post playmaker somebody's going to be open for a three and then you can cash it. an 85 defensive rebound like i said this can get a little bit frustrating at times on the defensive end especially when somebody has like a 92 offensive rebound or if you do a contest and you try to jump and get your rebound after it just doesn't work that is one of the most frustrating things is getting a contest on somebody and then they always get the rebound after and then they either kick it out for an open three in a teammate because the other our, my teammate has ran down the court already it can be very frustrating but at the same time it still works well as long as you get position and box out most of the time you will get those rebounds but there is sometimes where you don't get the rebounds and it's like what is going on <laughs> 60 speed like i said it would have been nice to get more speed on here i do miss last year and the year before with the slashing takeover and getting that plus 21 to the speed it would have made this build absolutely op if i could get slashing takeover on this but unfortunately this year there's no slashing takeover and it's a little bit different so the speed definitely is a factor and again if you play against like a six foot eight and a six foot nine and they are decent at the game they can beat you down the court really easy they can get fast break points on you pretty easy it can get frustrating and of course they can't blow by you and everything so you just kind of have to try your best try and read what they're gonna do and make the best 45 acceleration all that gets us is bronze spot finder and all we get is a 72 strength but we do get bronze brick wall silver fearless bronze bronze post lockdown and bronze immovable enforcer still but again with a low strength i wanted to have a high block enough interior defense and i have a seven foot two frame i haven't had too many issues with the strength yet there is sometimes that you can get moved around and kind of bullied but again with a gold anchor 92 block 82 interior defense bronze post lockdown you can absolutely hold your own so it's not too bad the 72 strength it would have been nice to 84 i think 84 is the absolute perfect spot it would have been nice but again we would have had to sacrifice speed and i wanted to be able to be as fast as we could be with this and of course get that 80 driving layup rating 75 vertical you need that to go with that 92 standing dunk so you can get gold rise up gold aerial wizard silver chase on artist gold pogo stick and bronze posterizer the more vertical the better it helps with rebounding and blocking shots absolutely and last but not least we do have a 99 stamina and we can combine that with an 82 interior defense to get that gold workhorse badge so there we have it the seven foot two inside out demon i have been really loving this build the amazing playmaking it's got unbelievable defense fans you can shoot from anywhere you still got your contact dunks driving layup hall of fame pro touch you can get started three get the demanta sabonis layup package on this build it is a really fun seven foot two build if we go ahead and click continue we get the shades of vladi divac walker kessler and yusuf nurkic and it does come out to an inside the arc maestro so some pretty cool comparisons right there good old vladi divac love to see that but a nice cool name as well too instead of an inside the arc threat it came out to an inside the arc maestro which is really cool and next up we are going to get in the attributes to increase first and i will drop the jump shot that i've been using for this build as well so the way that i would increase this build first you want to max out your driving layup you can leave your close shot for now you can increase that probably one of the last things it's really the least important one but again if you're open underneath the net you can still hit those standing layups hit a pump fake get them jumping you can go up with it and you can still finish it max out your driving dunk max out your standing dunk of course you want all the dunk packages that you can get be able to finish nice inside you can get that hall 
yourself in pro touch as quick as you can of course max out your mid range and you want to max out your three ball so you can still stretch the floor be that inside outside threat to leave our free throw for now but the next upgrades you could probably increase this because you will get fouled quite a bit because you do have good finishing so you can really drive and get contact fouls everything pass accuracy up to an 86 for now but then again your next few attribute upgrades i would recommend getting this up to 92 so that way you can get that hall of fame break starter and get those really easy full court outlet assists ball handle i went to a 40 so we could get those normal dribble animations and i maxed out my speed with ball once again so we are able to move with the ball tier defense i went up to a 74 so we can get that bronze post lockdown off rip unfortunately not able to, to increase our perimeter defense or steal and our block went up to a 77 so we can at least get that bronze anchor max out your def offensive rebound and of course max out your defensive rebound so we can rebound the ball no problem right off rip and once again come down with those rebounds use that 86 pass accuracy hold the extra a button get it down the court get those easy fast break points and assists and for our speed up to a 60 of course you want to max that out and what i ended up doing was actually maxing out my acceleration so i can get the bronze spot finder badge off rip if you tap the right trigger or r2 in any direction you get this nice little speed burst whether you want to cut on the three-point line or cut to the rack whatever it might be it will help you out quite a bit of course max out your strength with 72 get those bronze and movable enforcer brick wall badges everything like that of course you want strength on the center build vertical absolutely have to max that out to a 75 to match that 92 standing dunk so we can get our elite big man contact dunks and we can go ahead and try and get that gold pogo stand. and last but not least the stamina i went up to a 95 so that can match our 82 interior defense even though we only have a 74 but i went up to a 95 so when we do increase our interior defense up to an 82 we can at least get that gold war course badge so this is how i would increase this build first and it will cost you 254k vc almost 255k which is usually the normal amount but we left some categories where we maybe could have put a couple points in but it really just wasn't worth it but this way you got your finishing you got your shooting playmaking you got good enough defense rebounding and physicals you can take this thing into the wreck and go crazy and next up i'll show you guys what jump shot i've been using for this build so the jump shot that i've been using for this build big shocker jonathan isaac base and i've been using tim duncan for release one and release two is marquise chris 15 percent on tim duncan and 85 percent on marquise chris and of course once again i do recommend to drop the release speed one tick on the jonathan isaac base or maybe any other base because if you go full speed on the jonathan isaac base you will get a d plus timing stability but even just moving it down one tick it does increase your timing stability to a c minus which is really nice and last year i was using marquise chris this is the first time that i've actually been trying out marquise chris release i don't mind it at all actually and again even dropping that one tick you still get an a release speed a release height a c defensive immunity and a c minus timing stability so some decent stats all the way around but i really like having that tim duncan release i find a high release point is easier to cue i guess you could say so i really love the tim duncan release so i highly recommend using tim duncan for one of your releases and if you want to try something else to blend it with you can absolutely go ahead and do that but again pretty much as soon as he reaches the top or the apex of his jump right when he's about to push the ball that's when you want to release it and i do use the push setting again i've been kind of everywhere shooting with this build i started shooting really bad with this build but now with this new patch i've been shooting a lot better i've been very very streaky with this i've been like one for seven and then i'll go like three for three and then two for four and then i'll go one for five again so i'm kind of everywhere with this i don't really know understand why <laughs> especially with the last seven footer that i posted it had a 74 three ball and this is a 73 three ball so it's only a one point difference but i had like a 15 to 20 percent difference it's like i, I was shooting like 50 to 55 percent and then with this build i was shooting like 30 to 35 percent but maybe it's because i didn't have my hot zones i don't know but i am shooting better with it now but again i still with the shooting i am everywhere with it <laughs> so if you're struggling shooting don't worry about it i have absolutely been there you're only really seeing the games where i shoot well you're not seeing the games that i don't shoot well but they absolutely absolutely happen and if you guys want to see the animations the rest of the animations for this build actually visit the last seven foot center build that i dropped i have every single animation in there but all the dribble moves are normal and i use the exact same animations throughout the year for all my builds i rarely ever change animations i like to use the same animations try and master them throughout the year that way i can really be knocked down and money with them but next up let's get into some rec center gameplay with a seven foot two inside out demon so here we've got a 20 point 19 rebound seven assists 
4 steal and 3 block gameplay on 8 of 14 shooting and 4 of 7 from 3 point land. And we are up against a 7 foot 1 2 way inside the arc finisher and he does shoot 25% from 3 so it is a little bit of a catfish build. He does have the ability to shoot 3s but it looks like he's not the most consistent with it but regardless still lots of interior defense but right there we are starting it off with a nice standing dunk and i've really enjoyed this build as well too the only thing is it has had some problems against some six foot eights and six foot nines so like i was saying earlier i think my next build is going to be a six foot eight a six foot nine i wouldn't mind making like a ben wallace type of build but i still want to be able to shoot the three for my play style i really like to spread the floor space it open up the lanes for my teammates to drive and it's just it makes for better basketball i find it just opens everything up a little bit more don't get me wrong inside centers if you know how to use them they can be extremely effective but you have to know what you're doing you can't just sit on the block every single possession and call for the ball yo i got a mismatch i got a mismatch whatever it may be and if you do have a mismatch yeah i get it but if you do stuff like this that's what's gonna happen and that's what i mean that 82 interior defense comes in handy very well especially with the only a 72 strength having a little bit higher interior defense and a little bit more block i do find help plays against these post players but still even at seven foot two you are pretty big and there aren't really very many seven foot three pure matches out there that i've ever played against i hardly ever play against other seven foot twos or seven foot threes and we are playing the half right there and nine points three assists and nine rebounds so a little bit of everything and like i said this isn't the most efficient gameplay for me but it is a very exciting gameplay. We actually go down 14 points with two and a half minutes left and we have an unbelievable comeback. But again, what I kind of wanted to do was make an optimal build with everything. And again, I know all you really need is a 77 block, but I wanted to make up for that 72 strength. And once again, he's trying to drop step me. He is an inside player, a two way inside the arc finisher. So you know he has that pose control and you know he has that finishing right there. Unfortunately, I turn it over. I had my icons up trying to pass it and the guy came over and swiped it. So unfortunately, turnover right there and you will get some turnovers but the hall of fame break starter 92 pass accuracy gold dimer this build is another triple double machine and right there i actually don't know why i did that little sidestep for some reason i only had two seconds to shoot it i could have just shot a normal one but a nasty snatch block and unfortunately i try to finish off the clip right here and force some absolute garbage but as you'll see right here they get a bucket they are going to go up by 14 points with two minutes minutes and 38 seconds left and this is where we start an unbelievable comeback i started off with a nice three-pointer from the corner and if you guys just skip to this part of the video i do have my jump shot right before this and i use this jonathan isaac for every single build and i'll probably use it on my six foot eight six foot nine that i'm going to make here eventually i'm actually really looking forward to trying it because i back in 2k 20 or 21 i think it was 2k 20 i had a dwight howard six foot nine type of build that was back when there was pie charts and i had a pure red and it was a ton of fun it actually went crazy so i'm hoping to get nice defensive stats hopefully some dunking maybe contact dunk we will see and of course i do want to be able to stretch the floor but right there they did throw the ball into us get a nice cheesy steal and we come within four points so they completely have blown up this lead we have been coming back and right here bang an absolute risky three but i knew we had to get some points on the board i have my sharp shooting takeover i am seven foot two i can shoot over those and i know i have the ability to shoot and right there was an unbelievably risky pass but fortunately it did not get stolen that needle threader coming in handy very much so get the pass through to go up by one point and unfortunately right there they get an absolutely crazy layup right there have to call a timeout advance the ball and we got 14 seconds down one point bang they always forget about the inbounder now it took a couple passes but my guy was sleeping on me gave me too much space especially after i just hit that really clutch three-pointer and i still have my sharpshooting takeover they try and force in some garbage it probably should have kicked it out to my guy he's not the greatest shooter on this build so fortunately i was able to help and it would have been unfortunate if he did pass it but right there we get an absolute clutch block 0.5 seconds left 
up to you guys know we got this w we just have to protect the rim there's not enough time to get an actual shot off so we just got to protect the rim make sure they don't get anything through they tried throwing the lob that's all they had it goes out of bounds the game is sealed so we get 20 points 19 rebounds seven assists four steals and three blocks now this build does have the potential to get five by fives it is a triple double machine all around it is an extremely fun build and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like hit that sub if you're new and we'll catch you in the next one peace